Hey everyone, this is Ender 3 S1 Pro 3D Printer by Creality and in this video, I am going to show you how to assemble it step by step. So if you have just received this 3D printer kit and need assembly instructions with some helpful tips in between, keep watching. And for those of you interested in buying this printer, sit back, relax and wait for the printed design parts in the end. So without wasting any more time, let's start with the unboxing of this kit. The first step of assembly is installing the gantry. Place it over the chassis module, then use these screws to hold it in place. Step 2. Install the nozzle kit. First lock it in place then use the M3 screws to tighten it. Step 3. Install the screen. Place the screen bracket to the available socket on the right side and tight it using M4 screws. Step 4. Install the spool holder. But first, insert the holder to the right end of the rack and make sure the rack is positioned as shown here. As you can see, the filament detector is attached to the holder. Next step is wiring, starting with the display. Next, connect the X and Z axis stepper motors. Before wiring the nozzle, make sure to clamp this wire clip at the back plate of the X-axis motor. The clamp holds the 24 pin wire in place. Finally, connect the nozzle to the 24 pin connector. Step 6. Select the operating mains voltage. Use a screwdriver to select the correct position for the power supply switch, either 115 volts or 230 volts. By default, it is set to 230 volts. And since I'm from India, there is no need to flip it. Still, I made sure it was at 230 volts by looking at the switch before operating the machine. Step 7. Connect the power cord and switch on the supply. Do test the LED on the top. Step 8. Calibrate the printer. Before you start printing, it's important to calibrate a new 3D printer. Here's a simple 5-step guide to help you through the calibration process. Number 1. Check the belt underneath the bed. Adjust the roller if the bed is wobbly or too tight. Number 2. Adjust the extruder kit. It should move freely. Number 3. Preheat the bed and nozzle. Number 4. Use the auto leveling feature to level the bed.
नंबर फाइव मैनुअली लेवल द बेड Step 9 Load the filament Place the filament in the spool holder then insert it into the filament detector and from there into the extruder Push the filament into the extruder but make sure the nozzle is preheated first and once you see the melted filament coming out of the nozzle you are ready to print your first design Step 10 There are some preloaded sliced files in the SD card Insert it in the card slot and select the desired print. I'm printing the rabbit first. The very first print turned out like this and this right here is the instant when it happened. It was pushed away either because the nozzle was too far away from the bed so the filament couldn't stick properly or due to improper heating of the bed. So after leveling the bed again properly this time the printed rabbit appears unexpectedly good as you can see here. And on comparing with the previous rabbit it became obvious that the issue was with the bed leveling that's why leveling the bed before printing anything is a very important process here are some more prints i did on this printer So in conclusion the Ender 3 S1 Pro offers a compelling package with its upgraded features and sturdy construction. While some issues such as auto leveling and noisy mainboard fan need attention, the overall printing quality remains excellent. The PI coated build plate further enhances the printing experience holding the melted material securely. Users may encounter challenges especially beginners due to the lack of comprehensive documentation and limited touch screen information. but the printer's performance and the variety of compatible filaments make it a solid choice for 3d printing beginners with potential firmware updates to address the noted concerns the ender 3 s1 pro has the potential to be a standout option in its category and if you have made up your mind and the ender 3 s1 pro is the 3d printer for you don't hesitate to explore the link in the description for more details and to make your purchase and if you enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button Stay tuned for future product reviews and more exciting content.